Okay, this is video 6 for the first part of chapter 12, which is the use of chi-square test for difference between two proportions. In the hotel guest satisfact uh, satisfaction survey, both the z-test based on the standardized normal distribution, see section 10.3, and the chi-square test based on the chi-square distribution provide the same conclusion. You can explain this result by the interrelationship between the standardized normal distribution and the chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom. So there's an interrelationship there. Let's highlight it. Okay, interrelationship between the standardized normal distribution and a chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom. For such situations, the chi-square test statistic is the square of the z-test statistic. So one degree of freedom chi-square distribution is the same as normal. For instance, in the guest satisfaction study, the computed z-test statistic is plus 3.088, and the computed uh, chi-square is 9.0526. Except for rounding error, this latter value, this, is the square of 3.0088. Also, if you compare the critical values of the test statistics from the two distributions at the 0 0.05 level of significance, the chi-square of one degree of freedom value, I guess, I don't explain this. The chi-square one degree of freedom value of 3.8 for one is the square of the z value of plus minus 1.96. Furthermore, the p-values for both tests are equal. Therefore, when testing the null hypothesis of equality of proportions, pi 1 equals pi 2, against the alternative that the population proportions are not equal, the z-test and the chi-square test are equivalent methods. However, if you are interested in determining whether there is evidence of a directional difference, such as P1 greater than, pi 1 greater than pi 2, you must use the z-test with the entire rejection region located in one tail of the standardized normal distribution. In section 12.2, that's the next one, the chi-square test is extended to make comparisons and evaluate differences between the proportions among more than two groups. However, you cannot use the z-test if there are more than two groups. So we're going to end here.